Strategia digitale. Idee, novità e consigli per imprenditori e professionisti appassionati di web marketing e business online. E business online. A cura di Giulio Gaudiano. Ben trovati da Giulio Gaudiano e benvenuti in un nuovo episodio di Strategia Digitale. Ragazzi, sono allo Yab Forum e sono contentissimo di potervi far conoscere Michael Young, chi è? È l'uomo che sta dietro Many Chat. Se non conoscete neanche Many Chat, non avete ascoltato la nostra puntata sui bot, benissimo, nessun problema, perché grazie a lui scopriremo tutto quello che c'è dietro questo mondo, ma soprattutto come fare voi da oggi a iniziare a utilizzare il bot per il vostro business. Prima di sentire la sua viva voce voglio ringraziare tutti i nostri finanziatori, tutti coloro che hanno aderito al nostro programma di crowdfunding e va brevissimo nelle prossime puntate dirò i loro nomi ma voglio ringraziare, non manco neanche una puntata di ringraziarli perché loro sono quelli che rendono possibile strategia digitale. Rendetelo possibile anche voi, diventate anche voi finanziatori andando su youmediaweb.com slash finanzia ma ora bando alle ciance è il momento di conoscere Michael Young e soprattutto di scoprire come utilizzare i bot per il tuo business. Hi Michael, thank you for being here. Um, you did a great presentation about ManyChat, but I would like you to share one, some insight of the word of the bots and how the bots can be an opportunity for all, every kind of business So, uh, how the bot, the bot works for, for business? Uh, hi there. Uh, great to be here. Um, so, the opportunity with bots is, uh, a lot of people talk about bots as these uh, applications delivered through the conversational interface, but we think that that definition is pretty, um, it is not good for the business or the marketer because it doesn't tell you what you can actually do with a bot. So we, we define bots in messaging apps as just business accounts inside a messaging app. And that definition tells you instantly that your business can have an account inside a messaging app and more that your account inside uh, a messenger can have subscribers and you can do broadcast to those subscribers. So um, ManyChat helps businesses uh, do three simple things. Um, uh, ManyChat helps you to create an account inside the messaging app. Uh, we help you get subscribers by using our growth tools that you can put on your website, on your blog, in your social media that will start collecting uh, your messenger list, if you will. And the third thing, we uh, allow you to do interactive, engaging broadcasts uh, that reach uh, really interesting numbers in terms of uh, open rates and CTRs much higher than email. It was very interesting seeing um, your presentation when you did a confrontation with the, within um, email marketing and bot marketing, messenger marketing. Yeah. Can you share some data about that? Uh, yes, sure. So if you think about uh, email um, open rates and CTR, uh, they are, the, so the MailChimp stats are like 22% open rates on average and CTRs uh, from 1% to 3% depending on which industry you're in. So uh, with bots, we've analyzed, uh, we already have like thousands of bots on our platform and we've analyzed millions of messages sent and the average uh, open rate uh, on, uh, in Messenger is uh, 80%. Uh, wow. So that is four times higher than um, the email open rates. And, but the most important thing is the actual actions, like it's the CTR. So uh, the average CTR uh, in Messenger is 15%. So that is almost 10 times higher uh, than in email in terms of uh, action taken. So uh, we think that is a, the biggest opportunity in terms of um, new channels for businesses. But do you think that this kind of effectiveness is linked to the fact that bots are the next big thing, are a new thing? So 
people are not um, uh, are not used yeah. to to receive message Messages. or commercial yeah. message w through the the chat or yeah. is just um, related to the difference between the interaction with email with content on yeah. email and the chat so we think it's actually both. So uh, I agree that right now messengers are not uh, saturated. So that is why, like people, um, we get this uh, these uh, crazy uh, dramatic increases in engagement rates. Uh, but um, I also think that if you think about SMS, uh, and SMS was the like uh, m the prototype of of what messaging has become. So the historical rates, uh, open rates uh, for SMS are 98%. So it's almost 100% uh, of SMS, you open them up and you read them. And um, that didn't change throughout um, SMS history. Uh, and if you think about your messenger, it's also like this. You, it's really hard to uh, uh, to leave that message unread and to leave that like red badge on your messenger. So, uh, but of course there are uh, differences, and that is why uh, we uh, only, if you can yeah. say that, see uh, read rates of eighty percent and not like ninety eight percent. But I think that they they're gonna stay much much higher than email because it's a much more curated channel for the person. They are in control with email. It's an open protocol. Anyone who has your email, they can start messaging you instantly. But a messenger uh, bot is uh, is different because. People can unsubscribe from them. People can delete them. Mm -hmm. And business won't be able technically to mm -hmm. contact that person again. So spam is not possible here in this channel. That leaves uh, messaging apps as a really... Um, uh, real engage really engaging channel. You, like you, as a, as a user, you're always in control of what you're getting and from whom. And that is why I think the open rates and the click-through rates are going to stay much, much higher. Uh, bots are definitely a way to, um, to use rich media because you can use text, images, and videos, and uh, emoticons and as well. And so audio and GIFs. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. So do you think that um, there is any good tip to create engagement using a multimedia strategy? Yes, sure. So it's it's really different how you would perceive content in a, in in the context of mess of of a chat than through email or social media. So there are a few tips that uh we can share uh so that your uh messenger marketing strategy is uh more engaging. So first of all, you got to use images and gifs and gifs are like really really engage people because they autoplay uh inside the messenger so it's instantly the person sees some action some some movement and that attracts attention and uh, you got to stay short in terms of text people are not used to reading like long form content inside the messenger messenger is for like friend communication it's like hey what's up uh, how are you where are yeah. you etc it's really short so uh, y y the business should embrace that and al al also make their communication succinct and um the last thing I would share is that you uh, never use a formal tone inside the um, messaging interface because it's you want to be as a business you want to be a friend yeah for that person you want your account yeah. to be one of their friends in the friend list that sends them great content interesting inspiring that shares the news that uh, that they can interact with and uh, uh, by building that trust you get a competitive advantage like never before because a person starts to go to your messenger page uh just for advice, like for example, if I wanted to buy shoes and I had an existing relationship with some shoe store inside the messaging app, I would just like text to them and say, uh, hey guys, do you have something for the winter? 
and they can reply to me manually or um, like through artificial intelligence uh, but I would suggest for now to use the basic the basics and to do it manually um, and uh, and if you if you and you can send like uh, uh, pictures and gifts and like hey we have this new thing in the store and this one which one do you like come over or you can even order through the bot and like that's that's commerce done right inside one uh, window. Okay, let's talk about ManyChat. I have a podcast. I am a, a small business owner, so yeah. I can use ManyChat to create my own bot. Yeah. So. Uh, guide me step by step in creating my first bot. Sure. So you're a perfect example of somebody who creates valuable content and uh, you want to benefit from the fact that you can use a channel of communication that your audience actually reads like 10 times a day, 20 times a day, because we use messaging all the time. So what you would do is you would... Uh, connect your Facebook page and I'm assuming you have a Facebook page for your podcast if you don't like just create it so you take your Facebook page and you connect it to ManyChat and then you go to ManyChat and you um, take our growth tools it's just like the, these widgets and links that you can place inside social media accounts that you can broadcast to your people through your existing channels or that you can place on your blog or website and you start collecting subscribers uh, like uh, it's 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 really simple. Like a any person who visits the link and then uh, presses get started inside your bot and uh, presses yes, I want to subscribe becomes your messenger subscriber. So so everyone wants to communicate with me. Click on the link and it's a subscriber of my page. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. So so you, you yeah it's like if if you're doing I, I assume that you might be doing email marketing so you have like the, these boxes like leave your email and like we'll send you like yeah, once a but week. But it's just a click. This yeah. Way. <laughs> but but in Messenger yeah it's just like one or two clicks so it's much easier and you get much more info. You get the first name, the last name, the gender, the user uh, user profile picture, the um, time zone, the language. So you get all of that information from just like two taps. And uh, so that really brings down the friction and uh, improves the conversion rates. And uh, But the more interesting thing is that after you get your subscriber list, you go to ManyChat and you can construct like really easily, you can build this uh, beautiful interactive uh, broadcasts uh, that are really engaging for your um, uh, people, for your subscribers. So uh, yeah, three steps. You connect your Facebook page to ManyChat. Uh, you get subscribers inside your messenger uh, bot. And the third step is you start doing broadcasts. So really simple. So basically, can I uh, create like a path for new subscribers to have like um, a sequence of messages to educate them and prepare them to receive my broadcast? Yes, that's exactly what we do. So you can create an interactive um uh, um, we, we call them like chat flows. So you can uh, create an interactive welcome flow that asks them, uh, uh, hey, I, uh, we are doing this great podcast. Do you want to learn more? for example, and there could be two buttons, yes, or maybe later. And if the person presses yes, then you can say, so this is what we do, this is the topics we cover, do you want to subscribe, yes or no? And like, if they click yes, then you mark them with a certain tag, and then you do a broadcast only to people marked with that tag. Okay. So that's how that works. And you can customize that any, any way you like. And there is any chance to export all the information collected through this process? Yeah, uh, right now you can't do any exports, but um, I'm wondering, like, for uh, why would you need that? You won't have the email. Of I, the person. I would like to create a, a multi channel strategy. So basically, yeah. I, I collect data, people data through so you're interaction. About and then maybe I want to send them an email or yeah. just profiling them. Yeah, that's that's a really interesting question. I think that uh, Do you know we, do you know why I asked you this? Because I was just attending at inbound to, um, conference in Boston. Yeah. And I was very surprised by the fact that uh, HubSpot software does not integrate with any messenger. So basically it's web page plus email and that's yeah. it 
but yeah. it, it, it doesn't make sense anymore. So I'm asking you because um, I would like to see a future where all the channels are integrated so I can save in my CRM yeah. all the information and all in the interaction. Yeah. So you want a, a holistic view of your customer that's from, from every interaction, from every channel. Yeah, that's the holy grail of <laughs> CRMs. <laughs> um, uh, we will, right now there, is no, there are no integrations, but we are uh, working in that direction. We want you as a marketer, as a content creator, to be able to, um, to connect your efforts inside messaging with your uh, email strategy, with your social media strategy, and, uh, and all the other um, uh, yeah, strategies. All the other yeah, channels. Yeah, yeah, all the other channels that you got going. So uh, it will be, it, it's certainly on our roadmap. Okay, fantastic. And what's the business model? Yeah, the business model is quite similar to uh, the one that um, uh, the the one that uh, email marketing has. So we charge based on the number of subscribers you have. Okay. So first of all, I want to make clear that we have a free plan uh, with unlimited subscribers. So uh, the only difference right now between a free plan and a pro plan is that the free plan has our branding. So um, if you want to remove the branding, you get the pro subscription. Uh, but as we go further, we will develop more pro features like uh, A-B testing and um, uh, custom user fields. And I can go on like uh, about all the things in, in the workings right now. But uh, for now, you can start testing ManyChat absolutely for free. And it's a forever free plan. So you, you can be... Uh, so guys, up, up go and, and test any chat right <laughs> now. Okay, th many thanks for your time. It was very interesting to have your insight and good luck for you, for your startup. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Siamo arrivati alla fine di questa puntata, è stato veramente interessante ascoltare un insider, ragazzi, questo si è inventato un sistema assolutamente incredibile per rivoluzionare la creazione dei bot, perché una cosa è fare il marketing con un bot creato da un'agenzia che è stata per te un costo, un'altra cosa è creare una piattaforma un canale con il quale oggi stesso puoi andare e cominciare a sperimentare in questo mondo del messenger marketing o di come lo chiamo io l'instant marketing, il marketing istantaneo. Una cosa che ha detto eh, oggi durante il suo intervento, che non ha ripetuto durante l'intervista ma secondo me val vale la pena citarla, è che le interazioni quando tu lanci un broadcast, quindi quando lanci tu il primo messaggio, le interazioni la maggior parte avvengono in un'ora. Quindi diventa un modo immediato, istantaneo per eh, mettere carbone sul fuoco del tuo business, aggiungere legna, eh, una legna che è fatta dell'engagement, una legna che è basata sul dialogo e sulla creazione di valore, che sia intrattenimento o informazione. Ragazzi, provatelo, trovate nelle note dell'episodio tutti i link a ManyChat per scoprire anche un pochino di più su chi è Michael Young che ci ha parlato oggi e vi ricordo anche di andare su iTunes per lasciare la vostra recensione su strategia digitale è qualcosa che vale molto per noi perché ci permette di capire se stiamo portando valore a voi che ci ascoltate grazie mille a Sara Veltri, codice del programma al nostro fonico Costanza Mineo e a radiospeaker.it curatore del nostro sound design grazie mille e alla prossima Strategia digitale. Idee, novità e consigli per imprenditori e professionisti appassionati di web marketing e business online. E business online. A cura di Giulio Gaudiano.